St. Leonard's Church has the largest and best preserved collection of ancient skulls and human bones in Britain. The collection consists of shelves in four arch bays that contain 1,022 skulls in total and a single rack of bones and skulls measuring 7.5 metres in length, 1.8 metres in width and just over 1.8 metres in height. The stack of bones was assembled on its brick base in 1910. Past historians uh, indicated that the collection represents the remains of some 4,000 people. It's impossible to verify the number of bones in the stack. Uh, the latest estimate is a maximum number of 1,200 skulls in the crypt, and a total number of individuals represented as 2,000. The earliest references to the collection are in 1678 by Samuel Jake, the then town clerk of Rye and in 1679 by Reverend Brom, chaplain of the Sinca ports, both of whom described an orderly pile of dead men's bones in the Carnal House on the north side of the church. The earliest known drawings are dated to 1787, depicting piles of skulls and bones inside the crypt entrance door, and in 1820 showing the southwest bay and stack similar to its present appearance. The crypt has often been referred to as the Bone House and the Ossuary, one suggestion is that it had been a carnal house or a chapel uh, to house deflesh separate bones and that St. Leonard's is one of a number of English medieval carnal chapels underneath churches as the Hythe crypt resembles the attributes of other such chapels. There have been many theories over the years as to um, whom the people were and how their remains came to be resting in the crypt. These have included Danish pirates slain in battle, um, men who fell in the 1066 Battle of Hastings, and Anglo-Saxons killed in battle. Another suggestion refers to the people being victims of the Black Death, but such bodies were usually hastily disposed of in quicklime. However, a project in 2009-2012 analysing all the skulls on the shelves confirmed that there were a high proportion of females in the males, and nearly 10% of sub-adults, juveniles. Uh, whilst only a handful of skulls indicate wounds uh, from blows to the head. The conclusion now is that the, these were actually residents of the town of Hythe, where St. Leonard's is, who died over a long period and had been buried in the churchyard, which is evidenced by a deposit of soil in the skulls, and that the earliest of the remains were dug up in the 13th century when the church was extended eastwards over their graves uh, by the addition of the large chancel. However, this number of individuals is high for Hyde only residents and the collection probably includes bones from four graveyards in the Hyde area that are said to have fallen out of use and closed in the 1500. So there's no accurate evidence for the date of death of the people to be um, has been determined. Um, estimates range from the 12th to 15th century, although more likely to be the 13th century if it coincides with the building of the chancel. St. Leonard's is the pretty much the best ossuary and collection of ancient bones in the UK. Um, there's plenty of ossuaries in continental Europe, but not that many in the UK. So it's well worth a visit. It's uh, located in Kent on the southeast coast. Thanks for watching and for more videos, please subscribe to my channel.